With the inauguration of President Bola Tinubu done and dusted, the lobbying game for the seat of the Senate presidency has intensified. More support groups have continued to speak for and against the zoning decision of the ruling party, the All Progressives Congress. TBC News National Assembly correspondent TJ Suadewe has details. There is a new sheriff in town. And the next big decision is who is most worthy to be Nigeria's number three man who would occupy the seat of the Senate President in the 10th National Assembly. Concerned citizens have argued that this is a very important decision that will play a huge role in the performance of the Tinubu administration. While some query the interference of the ruling party by making zoning decisions Others have applauded the party's prompt response with this crucial decision, which they believe will guide the legislature from making costly mistakes. The Parliamentary Advocacy Network is the latest group to oppose the involvement of the ruling APC. They suggest that the new lawmakers should be allowed to decide who pilots the affairs of the National Assembly and retain its independence. In the zoning arrangement, of presiding officers' positions in our National Assembly allegedly done by the ruling APC and the president-elect, who have thrown the entire lawmakers elect, their political parties, and the nation at large onto an unavoidable coalition course. On the other hand, another group known as the Citizens Network for Peace and Development in Nigeria appeals for the understanding of other candidates urging them to step down for the party's choice. They say this is to avoid a repeat of what transpired in the 8th Senate, which resulted in a frosty relationship between the executive and the legislature. There is a strong patriotic need for the lawmakers elect to drop their personal interests for the national and collective interest in order to accelerate the holistic development of the country. They should focus on the sacrifices they can make for the betterment of the country and not what they can gain for themselves at all costs. As Nigerians continue to make suggestions on what they feel will complement the efforts of the Tinubu administration, the decision ultimately lies with the new lawmakers waiting for the inauguration of the 10th National Assembly. Tijesu Adeo, News, Abuja.